Hello, it's Joe Glines, and this is another video for the web scraping tutorials. Today I wanted to focus on class name. I had, um, I believe I added some comments on my script uh, forum post about using class name, but here if we go get from page, get class name array, right, so that's what you would put in here, um, and in this one, um, it, I'll go ahead and just get rid of this, right? But, uh, oh. the, um, this is where, so you're going to look for class is what you actually look for, right? When you use this IWP2 learner tool. So here I'm on LinkedIn, looking at people who have auto hotkey in their profile. And let's say I wanted to get like this, this first value here, right? So I'd come in here, click over it look at the outer HTML, see where it says span class, and then face count, I'm sorry, facet count, um, that is where I came back in here and said, okay, facet count, and I, it's an array, so I want the first one, which is of course zero, and I'm going to save this and reload it, and now this message box should, yep, 247, right, um, Let's see if I put that, and now I, I'm not even going to check it, right? I'm going to say, let's go back here. Let's change this to 1, which will give me the second one. Hopefully that's the same, 134. Yep, that worked great. Um, but this class name, it's awesome because it's on almost everything, like in an HTML page. So let's say we come in here, and let's see, class, title, main, headline. So see this here, class, title, main, headline. I think I got the quote, so I gotta, I'm talking to myself to make, <laughs> make sure I get that. Alright, headline, and let's say zero, and let's see, yep, Kathy Griffin, out of one, Joe Glines, that's me. Um, so it's that easy, right? And and I even um, saw some other stuff that where this, there was a... Uh, one of these, how was it? I was in here, and there is an array, and let me see if I can get to the parent, um, this, I, the results, I was using this, and the item number, and it still, I put in just part of the word, and it, and it still grabbed, it wasn't, um, an exact match, so it was, it was very nice, uh, but almost everything I found in the last year, I'd say, has, like, the class name, um, tagged, so it's it's highly reliable. The only thing, of course, is you're working with an array, so make sure that you see how many there are and, and to get back into it. So let's say, um, I'm going to comment that out and say length. So there are 10 title main headline class names on that page, right? And so then I could just iterate over, let's see, um, I'll go like this. And X minus one. Loop. And we're going to change this to where it, it just appends to it. And of course, since it appends to it, I'm going to add on a... Uh, you know what? You guys don't have this, but I, I um, as long as I have my default settings set, actually, I'll put in a line break. And now, loop... Um, I know there's 10, so I'm going to say, I'm just going to write 10, and with any luck, there. So I got the 10 names from the page, right? It's pretty easy, um, dumping stuff into an array, uh, do it using a loop, an index, and loop over them. But this class name, very, very awesome. Um, not sure what else to say about it. It, it, um, let's see... If uh, we'll try to grab something else here, so let's say here's their city, Dallas, BDI. So I don't see any on this one. There's no, I don't see a class name there. But you can also just go like this. Say, well, you know what? I'm gonna um, go up one class. So class separator. I wouldn't sure wouldn't use separator. Um, however, if I was to have iterated over this, I don't remember if this is in a table, but 
but each of these is in this list and so you could get this list and then iterate over it and then that um, space might actually be okay right and let's see if uh, like what's here uh, description oh, look at that well, that'll be a nice one so let's say what happens if we come back in here and let's say um, I'm just going to change this to be description save reload launch so it looks like interesting enough um, there are a couple others and of course that would mean that um, since I did 10 the software PHP at Heartland um, is probably the third from the bottom maybe oh here we go yeah and so that's the the part of where you need to make sure you, you look at all the items in the page description that you know now that I think about it that's not a great one on its own to use but if we were to add in the um, the the list item the li um, it'll it would probably be the 10 let's see if I can do this here real quickly and not completely muck things up um, Uh, that's not gonna. That's not gonna do what I was wanting it to anyway. Um, let me go back and show the parent structure. So ID results. I'm just thinking here. Sorry. So. So let's get out by ID results. Um, and I'm going to leave it at that. And then we're going to change this. This, excuse me. Oh, and actually I forgot my uh, document in here. There we go. So let's set that. And let's see results dot dot li what I'm trying to do is walk down the DOM here so um, length so let's see oh boy there's 61 lists in there alright so so wow, 61 under results. I did not expect that. Um, I guess there's a lot of uh, LIs used in different ways. So, but let me see now. If I let me let me um, yeah, I'm it. It's not worth figuring out um, in this example, but basically what you want to do is is compartmentalize it into each of these ten people, and then within that, that description would be unique enough. But I, I think you get, you all got the uh, idea of just how easy it is to use the class name. Um, so and and again, when you actually look for it, it's class in here. And uh, I probably could have looked around a little bit more and said, you know what, instead of Let's go a little wider here. Oh, do I? Oh. And, and once I usually do that, and then I'll. Alright, let's use that one. Class title main headline. Is that what I had on the first one? I don't recall. Let's see what that gives us. And let's go ahead and get rid of this guy. And I grabbed the thing. Of course, that oh, that's because I was adding this other stuff, which... No, no, it wasn't. Um, huh. Clearly, that oh, it's adding the line breaks. Um, 
title main headline no, I'm not sure well that, I would have thought that that would have gave me that am I missing something here it's been a long day title main headline that looks right So, and, I, and it looks like that is doing 10. Let's try this. So it didn't even like that at all. Oh, because I'm an idiot. I forgot. PWB. No, it doesn't even like that. Uh, of course, it's not going to do that because this is the array here. So, it, um, But this should get back to working here. We're not. Boy. Yeah, I'm just tired. Index minus one, time of headline. See, now, before I didn't include my pointer because I was trying to do something fancy and got a little sidetracked. Um, man, boy, that. Oh, by class name? Oh, good. Uh, man. You guys are probably like yelling at me, like, hey, idiot. <laughs> Don't you forgot you took that out. So that got me that. Um, and actually, let's see, since that is within there, I'm going to try one more thing here. Um, it'll probably not work, but uh, that's just the way it goes. So let me put in get element by class name, and now I'm going to add it back in that description. Nope, didn't like that. I was thinking that description was probably beneath, lower down, in uh, the DOM, so it might pull that back. Let me just make sure I didn't do a typo here. see I got div div maybe well oh I know that headline's not under it it's it's probably like a similar level um, but anyway I think y'all get the the general idea of the class name that's it thanks